Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So the Miami Heat, they steal game two in Denver, 111 to 108. I will say this was a great collective win. The Miami Heat, they definitely came locked in. Bam at a bow. He was great defensively. Also, too, with four assists, he was a great passer. 21 points, four assists, nine rebounds. Now, Jimmy Butler, he still looks a little bit off, but 21 points, nine assists. He was doing great on the playmaking end and defensively. He was running around trying to trap Murray, guard Murray, really trying to make it uncomfortable for him, and he did a great job. Gabe Vincent, he was hitting back-to-back -back big shots throughout this game. I think he had a phenomenal game. Max Struess with a quick 14 points. He was really lighting it up during the first half, but then he kind of peeled off. Kevin Love, even though he only had six points and one assist, a big 10 rebounds, I think that was the adjustment that the Miami Heat needed. Kevin Love, he's been in these big-time moments. He knows what it's like to play in the finals. I think that was a huge, huge move that Eric Spolstra did by putting him back in the starting lineup. Same thing with Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry, he only had nine points, but he definitely helped us close out that fourth quarter. Once again, that's also why we have Kyle Lowry. He's a championship um, experience. He's been on these big levels. He's been in these big moments. He's been in the finals. He knows what it takes to win. Overall, a great collective effort. Duncan Robinson with 10 points. He definitely helped us um, close to the end of the third going into that fourth quarter. He helped us a lot with his big shots. Overall, a great collective win. I'm really hoping that the Miami Heat can go forward and protect home court so that we're going back to Denver with a 3-1 lead. Hopefully, the Miami Heat will be able to protect home court. I think it was a great collective win tonight. The Miami Heat, they definitely look focused, even though they were down for most of the game. They stayed collective as a group and pulled out a win. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.